I've been making these silly videos on video games for quite some time now. I've mainly been doing it as a sort of a pastime, mostly for the enjoyment of myself and of my friends. Because no one really would understand our inside jokes anyway. <laughs> But I've always wondered what it would be like if I were to arbitrarily map out my line of thinking when it came to making these sort of videos. I never really thought I had much of a system for doing such thing, like a systematic way of list of things that I should do in each order. But when I drew into it, mentally and literally, it became clear that I had such a system, if not a crude and simplistic one. So here it is! Not too impressive, but effective, nonetheless. Alright, let's get into the nitty gritty of this. We first start off here on this little island, right next to this oddly shaped 8th note here, because I'm an ex-music student and I really like music and shit. This is my starting point, where I do most of my work in post-editing and creation. I set up my stuff to record here, and then I venture out from this little island to this little island, little island that's over here. This is where I gather for footage. I sneak in, waiting for the greatest opportunity to find my delicious treats. And then when I stumble upon it, I hit save. This also involves not only finding video, but also finding pictures, stills from the video that I capture, and GIF files. I do this for about uh, three hours or so, and then I head back to the music island mass thingy. Oh, I don't know. It, it looks cool. That's why I drew it. But I don't land home just yet. I actually go to the main music landmass to find music and sound effects to suit the needs of the video that I will be preparing. This usually involves either searching through the various libraries I have access to in the databases of awesome music, but it's mostly just me just rummaging through my iTunes library and see what I have. If I don't have anything, I probably just search over in the internet and just, I don't know, download shit. Then I go back to my little islands off the music note. I cut the videos into nice clips, add some pictures for comedy, add music to undermine or over exaggerate certain situations. Gotcha! Alright, just gonna throw that down. Yeah, Vin, that's why I said don't go over there. It happens. Usually it happens to me. And then I finalize any kinds of credits that I would have to give for the stuff that I don't own in the final product. Which is usually almost everything. Once I render out my little salad of a video, I travel over to these two eyes over here, which represents all things social media on the internet. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, NeoGAF, uh, Tumblr, Vimeo, any fan sites or forums. Fucking 4chan. I usually stay over on YouTube and Twitter to share my video. Once uploaded and shared, I go back to my little island from afar and watch the view count rise to about the probably 8 or 9 views at best while I watch the video of Tech Stash Plummet. Uh, I really need to advertise my fucking channel more, I don't know why I'm so goddamn reluctant. So that's my systematic kind of thinking. Now, the question is, what the hell are these two landmasses over here and here? I call those areas unexplored potential or, mm, for the most part, unused tools. I have a lot of things that, that I have at my disposal. I still have a student license of my 2011 still sitting on my PC just gathering dust. I have a copy of Photoshop I usually only use for just end cards for my videos and thumbnails. And I have an easy mode 3D animation program distributed by these guys. Still in beta. I don't utilize these tools because I haven't had the time, or most likely I haven't used the time, to actually learn these things. You see the large body of water that encompasses the vast majority of this map? Yeah, that's all the things that keep me from doing my hobby. This can range from actual responsibilities like tending to family needs, financial opportunities that may come across my way like jobs, schoolwork, to actual distractions like this, 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 and well... that. I don't really do too much formal storytelling because I found no interest in it thus far. I haven't really had the time to actually... well, actually, let me rephrase that. I haven't used the time that I've had to actually, like, 
make like an actual story. But since I want to get into the business of entertaining people, from preparation, execution, and you know, storytelling, like storyboarding, concept creation, actual meaningful writing, those are things that uh, these things I would put probably in these two landmasses. These two landmasses here, I haven't really explored all too much, so I don't really know much of the things that I would actually come across. Hey, maybe if I were to actually explore these areas. I could find more opportunities that lie ahead of me. And, well, this map would probably be about 10 to millions times larger. <laughs>